Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Jonathan Gardner. Today is June 10th and I'm been playing uh, I am playing Factorio version 0.15.19. And I apologize for the last videos. I was messing around with some other recordings that I don't think I released and they took oh make sure that train doesn't kill me. And they took uh, uh it was 1920 by 1080. This is the full I think it's 4K because that's the monitor I have. I could be wrong. I don't know the exact resolution, but you can look it up. It's high resolution compared to what that'll give you. Okay, so it has been at least a week since I played. I have my tank down here. I have a bunch of junk in my trunk. I wanted to increase my ore, my iron ore production. Um, you can tell it's like draining down. It's going to keep draining down. I probably shouldn't pick these up except for the fact that I want them. And the iron is just disappearing so fast here. I had I cleared out some alien bases, I believe. I could be wrong there, but I believe I did. Um, looking at the episode titles, something about tanks and stuff like that. So um, these guys are done. I've done a nice job cleaning all this up. Uh, let's put that. Ah. Uh, all right, so let's get some more iron coming. Let's increase my iron capacity. I have 34 mining drills, which is not going to be enough. I need uh, ammunition as well. Um, the tank, I guess, is going to hold on to my stuff for me. Let's go and put that ammunition in there. I'll just drive around in the tank and try not to destroy my factory. Um, let's put those in there. I'll hold on to the rails. Oh boy. Stop! Oh boy. These things will go down like butter. They'll just fall right over. Speaking of which, I should be using a... Oh great, now I can't see because it it's night time. Alright. I'm gonna pick up... I'm gonna pick up some more mining drills. Oh, it's a tight fit here. Some more mining drills. I don't know where I'm making mining drills. I think I'm making them over here. Ammunition. I need some more ammunition too. There's my ammo. Because I'm going to build gun turrets and fill them. I'll take all those. Thank you very much. Um, mining drills. Where am I making mining drills? Over here. Look at that. Mining drills. But where are they going? Am I not putting these into a box somewhere? Huh. Huh. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take, clear out an area here, not using grenades. I'm sorry, guys, I just don't like grenades. They're too loud. Um, we're going to take a filter inserter. I'm going to have one here. And then he's going to bring it all the way up to here. We're going to go like that. We're going to have a steel case here. And we're going to load like that. And we're going to have a lot of mining drills. And so we just need to get some power to you. Use one of these poles. And you're going to take mining drills. Mining drills. There you go. There we go. Okay, so that's going to accumulate some mining drills. I see you need some rails. 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 Where am I? I'm making them down there. Oh, look, down here, the coal. Oh, this is scary. Oh, man. This is just ridiculously scary for me. I might have to focus on coal first. Make sure we get a solid coal supply coming in. Yeah. The first time you start running out of coal. That's bad. You end up with like a factory that may not be able to sustain itself. So I'm going to do coal, actually. And I got quite a bit of rails there. That should be good to go. And I got some signals. I got a 10 stations. I got chain signals. 12 is probably enough for most things. OK, let's actually map out where I'm going to go to get coal. There's a nice coal patch here. We'll just bring the coal down here or something. There's the coal over there as well. Uh, maybe I should focus on that. 
Okay, I have a coal patch. It's super close. Let's make sure that I'm actually using that coal. Hi, JJ. What is So, Mom's coming back tomorrow, right? Yeah. Are you excited? Not that much. Not that much? If Mom comes back, does that mean you have to do more work or something? Yes. Okay, so we're fine on coal. Yeah, this is just a beautiful coal patch here. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna lay some more down here. And by the way, those sound effects were absolutely necessary. You're not really playing Minecraft or this game until you're making those sound effects. Yes, JJ. Do you play, do you play with other people still? Do I play with other people? Mm -hmm. No, I don't do multiplayer. Why? Um. So lots of people keep asking me, hey, why don't you do multiplayer, multiplayer, multiplayer? Okay, this is the problem. Number one, um, it's stressful for me. I'm antisocial. I don't know if you guys noticed that yet. I don't like to talk to people. Um, number two is I have to set aside time for it. And I don't want to cut into... So I play this whenever I get time free. Um, Minecraft, or I'm sorry, Factorio. Oh, look at that. What is that? I'm taking it. Oh. What was that? Mining drills. A lot of them. I need to get those. It was a ton of mining drills. I need to drop off the rails in my tank here. Um, so I'm not going to get coal. I have plenty of coal. I'm going to get iron. Iron. So um, it's, it's uh, actually stressful for me to play with other people. Uh, I mean, I can do it, and maybe we'll have a little fun, and... But even with my closest friends, I'd prefer to be alone. So. Why do you need iron if you already have a full belt? Um, because I want more. And I'm going to turn on research, and research requires a ton of iron. So. Ooh. So I got lots of mining drills here. How many do I want? There's 200 in there right now. I have. Let's just grab them all. Let's grab them all. Okay. Let's put the mining drills in here. I wonder how you carry so many stuff in your inventory. Let's grab some. Let's actually grab as many as I can there. Let's you can carry space. a tank in your inventory. It's magic. It's like those, uh, you know, a Dragon Ball Z? Dragon Ball? Bottomless hole. They have the capsule corp. Yeah. Okay, so iron. I think this patch is worth looking at. This patch... This patch as well. Maybe I should get this patch because the rail's already laid. That's 3 million, 2 million, 2.2 million. Um, let's just go out and get some, get some iron. Oh, don't press up while I go. Let's just get the ones that are close. There's a patch right ahead, straight ahead. Should probably tap into that. I need some more trains, don't I? I have one and four. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. This is a tiny patch. Is this even worth getting? I, I'm going to get it. <laughs> okay. So let's tiny go ahead patch. And... Do I have my grenades on me? I do have grenades. Die. Okay, that hurt my tank. Die. Dad, they're called not... They're not called grenades. Let's they're see called how... holy hand grenades. They're called holy hand grenades. So let's lay the rail out. Kind of like a super highway. Oh, we gotta watch Monty Python's Holy Grail again. Right, JJ? Do we have it? You don't have it. What happened to it? What? What happened to it? You used to have it, the Monty Python. We used to have a copy of it. Oh. I wanna watch that movie again. Yeah, it's funny. There, now I can run over trees and lay track. We're making a super highway here. <laughs> There's a coal patch just north of there. Dad, do you know what I wish they added in this game? Money. If they're if the trains were going too fast and there's a sharp turn, the trains could go off track. There's a nuclear patch up here too. What? Why are you bashing everything? So I can lay the track without stopping. But obviously the tank explodes. Uh, I'll probably stop before the tank explodes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a... 
Bentham Woods doing this. That's right. Uh, Bentham. Bentham was the one that I saw using a tank to lay rail. I'm like, oh, I gotta do that. So if I'm not using Farrell, this is what I do. It's just, it works. You know, What's the tank. Farrell is the fully automated rail layer. Oh, yeah. Fully automated rail layer. Here we go. Bam, bam, bam. See how that just perfectly clears the path for the rail? You don't have to stop or anything. It just takes forever to mine it. Yeah. I should put down radars as well. So I can map out more and more area. Here we go. Almost done. Is this the... Blammo! What? Did you do that? <laughs> Yes, you can. Okay, let's stop. <laughs> oh, wait, that right. was a little mistake. Yeah. Yep. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and lay down power lines. And then we'll put, like, signals every power line distance or something like that. Let's see, I think... Holy cow, how long does that go? I should, a use, uh, I should use a... Uh, Medium? No, I should use uh, blueprints. Oh, yeah. Make I need to get robots. Super. I'm just going to put this down. I don't need the signals yet. Not until I get, like, more trains. And... Oh, I'm out, of, I'm out of those. That's not good. It's not good to be out of those. Then just hack. I only have one more. <laughs> I need more steel. Steel plates. <sighs> yeah, I need more steel. I can't, uh, I can't do it with this. Your steel plate the belt is not all the way full. No, I'm using steel for something. I don't know what it was I was using it for, but I'm using it for something. I'm going to leave this train here. This uh, tank here. With all my stuff in it. And I'm going to go grab, and I'm going to make a train and fill it full of coal. Oh, yeah, that's smart. So apparently the coal, I guess coal on train gives you the maximum. But cars don't like coal. Um, so I'm going to go down here. And stop. Get out. That's copper. Wait, no. no. What do you mean that's copper? What does make any sense? Up there was copper. Yeah, there's a copper train, but I'm blocking the copper train right now. He's not going to go anywhere. Let's see. And I want lots of steel so I can make lots of power lines and lots of copper so I can make lots of power lines. So that probably should have come down further. Hello, steel friends. All right. 25 of those. Now I need copper. I don't know if I need green circuits. Probably, I guess. 5, 10, 15, 25, 10, 15, 25, 10, 15, 20. That's all of it. More copper. More copper. You're stealing all the copper. I'm not stealing. It's it's my copper. But they made it. Wait, but you made them. Okay, so... Yeah, 141 should be plenty. So... There we go. Make more. <laughs> I carry extras. I need. To, I should probably carry some iron with me as well, just in case I need to build something that I don't have. Like I'm like short, like two or three. Let's go back up to the rail tracks there. Let's see if we can find my train. I think I see it right there. There it is. Okay. What I'm gonna do? Let's mine it and go the other. Mine the train. I knew it. And then you gotta place it the other way. Place it the other way, and hopefully there's not a train coming. Because if there is, it's destroyed. Dad, you could have just did the loop. Look him go. Oh my goodness, you were perfect. You could have done the whoa, loop. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Dad, you could have okay, done the Okay, let's stop right loop. here. It takes a long time to break. Go to your tank. So one thing they did in this version of Factorio is they... Oh. They basically like made trains faster, blah, blah, blah. And the point about trains is it's not a speed issue. Like you're only going to see marginal increases in throughput if 
you have more. Oh, this that's right. This is the the station. The station. Well, let's see, that's probably probably move it like right here. Shift place. Okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and design this station. Build with the end in mind. You've heard me say that more than once, right, JJ? Hmm? Build with the end in mind. What does that mean? That means you don't start at the beginning. You start at the end. That's strange. I know. It doesn't make sense to a lot of people. What in the world is going on here? <laughs> oh, shoot. I just can't hit Control-Z, can I? I'm pressing Q, but it's not listening to me. Because it's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this is so complicated. It is. I need robots! Man, I just need... Give me robots! I know! I'd be done by now. It would all be done by now. Okay, Q. There we go. All right, JJ's leaving. Bye, JJ. Bye. Q, not... Q. All right. Oh, I have an extra one here as well. Uh, chain signal goes here. You need to put uh, this guy down in the middle. Do, do, do. And then lights. I don't have very many lights, do I? And let's put this guy over here. Okay. Regular signal and chain signal. Um, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this as well. Uh, should I do a quick tutorial on... Oh, no, I want to leave that there. I want to leave that there. Let's do that. So, chain signals versus rail signals. Excuse me. All right. Hit the cough button in time. Um, what is the difference between a chain signal and a rail signal? Well, uh, the rail signals... We'll mark a block as um, there we go. So uh, they'll mark a block as being um, you can't go in there if there's any train on the inside. And ch chain signal will not only do what a rail signal does, but it'll also do um, you can't go in there if you can't get out, right? So it adds that additional information of where you can get out. No, no, not there, please. And uh, so you can use these together with great effect to keep intersections clear. No train will enter the intersection unless it can get out, right? And so that's what it, chain signals are used for, is marking off intersections so you don't get train jams. Uh, if you're not getting train jams and you haven't used trains enough, you always get train jams. It's a very complicated problem to solve. Um, mathematically, programmatically, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's very difficult to solve. It's not, I mean, even the Factorio program itself struggles with this uh, concept. That's why they, I, the ideal solution, I think New York subway systems, somebody sent a link to this, they upgraded their, uh, upgrade, I guess, they changed their system to basically have trains know um, where the other trains are. And so they will um, basically avoid collisions by the novel concept of not running into trains. Okay, so that, and now let's put some station down here. Um, there it is. No, no, put the signal down, please. Which, you know, it, it sounds like, oh, that's a great idea. There's a problem with it though. And the problem is that you can get all your trains not colliding with each other, but not moving either. So you have to program them to some degree to not move into a place where they're going to block other trains. So it's still a deadlock issue. 
we call it deadlock in programming. So, oh, this is nice, yeah. Um, we're gonna use stack inserters if we can. I can only build nine of them right now, but we're gonna start up, oh, I need these blues. Uh, we're gonna start upgrading to uh, using stack inserters, which is what you're supposed to use um, for train stations. Um, I just forgot because I'm this old, you know, I play really old style Factorio before they had stack inserters, before st inserters could even pick up more than one thing, you know. Uh, I forgot how I load. I think I just bring them down. I just do a four-way splitter and bring them down. Except in this case, I don't know if I'm going to get four belts. Let's see. Let's uh, see. This is the extent. Oh. I think I'm spending a lot of time without a lot of benefit here. Probably should have picked a bigger patch. This is a really small patch. This one is going to only be one side, so we have to balance it. No, we don't need this one. Okay, so I have plenty of belts, hopefully. This one, too. Um, what's the time? 21? Okay, let's go get more belts. Hopefully my tank has some belts in it. What I'll probably do later is just get a rail car that will... Um, have everything I need in it. But that takes a lot of planning and, and preparation and stuff. And logistic robots make it a lot easier. Uh, if you're doing it with belts, it's just impossible. So, And then you feed this this train car with everything you need to set up a mine in mining outpost, right? And then from there, you're pretty much golden. You just take that train out to a new area, start laying track. Um, Farl, of course, makes it a lot easier. But um, you don't need Farl. It just takes a little longer. Lay out the track, and the next thing you know, I messed up something. Where did I mess up? This guy does not go there. And let's put down here. Does that power everybody up? Nope, it does not. Why not? Because this, this is why. Wait, okay, what's going on here? I thought I saw that it was going to connect. Oh, it's supposed to go here? Okay, there we go. I should put some lights down. Um, I need some more blue inserters. I'll get them later. So, now we have a four-way splitter. Except we have three belts coming in. So the third belt is just going to come straight in like this. These two guys are balanced, so that's not going to be an issue. This guy. There we go. Four equal belts. It looks ridiculous, but it works. Actually, that's probably not right. Can we mark this controller in some way because it's broken? Sure. Okay. You can use it. It's just sometimes because it's so sensitive because they have bits and pieces knocked out on one side. It will like press buttons if you tap it. Mm -hmm. Press tape. This should work. I need to start making stack inserters in large numbers, in large quantities. There we go. Everybody's happy. All right, let's uh, set up the train. We got to bring it back to a station. Um, is it just me, or did that lock into place? I think it locked into place. I have nine bits of coal. 64 bits of wood. Um, since this guy's not picking up anything, let's just put everything in there. 
All right, Mr. Tank. Oh, wait, we need to name the station here. This is going to be... Oh, Shin Rear! Hello, Shin! Woohoo! Um, yeah, that's pretty amazing. Shin, thank you for contributing early to this game. You're awesome. All right, this is Iron Mine 1. Okay. Let's see if we can make it a bluish, grayish color. Kind of like the iron color. Uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And let's get going. We have everything on our train. Let's bring it back. And we're going to set up the unloading station next. I'm checking the signals myself. If you don't check the signals, you're going to hit one of your trains, and it's gonna you're going to have a bad day. Um, so yellow means that there's a train that's going to use that signal. So you probably yellow is basically red for you. Okay, so yeah, so this is going to be where we're going to unload everything. And um, let's just lay down some track to finish this off here. Oh, we have trees. Evil trees. That's what I was doing. I was prepping for the... Uh... I was prepping for the unload. Build with the end in mind, right? I was prepping for unload. That's what I was doing. That's why I was there. So I should have been doing this at the beginning of the episode, but you know how I am. Okay, um, I just want to lay track. Cut down that tree, please. Should have used grenades. In fact, can I use grenades right now? Can I use grenades right now? Yes, I can. And don't kill myself, though. That's probably bad. And probably don't kill the tracks, either. So let's go and repair the tracks, pick them up. Ah, uh, let's just cut them down. signal down here and we can put one over here as well and that should free up the copper train once I go past that signal there we go let me just double check that yeah he's coming in so don't go in here unless you can get out Although what I probably need to do is have like a stack. You'll see later. I'll have to redesign the station eventually. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, let's drop off. I don't have anything. Let's drop off the iron chests here. Um, let's actually do this first. I'm sorry. I'm so scatterbrained. So the difference between the loading and the unloading is in the unloading, you want to get somewhat of a balance but at the same time you want economy of space. So using stack inserters for unloading. And I think I'll use stack inserters to the chest and then blue inserters for the belts. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Next episode, we're going to make a bunch of stack inserters, I think. Take care. Bye.